This episode of Europe's Baby Bust, I've come to Budapest. Like in other countries across Europe, Hungary's government is desperately battling population decline by trying to promote marriage and childbirth. I'm here to meet three women with different outlooks on this procreation drive. Én 31 éves nőként, aki nagyon szeretné gyereket, de jelenleg még nincs, én nem nyomásként élem meg. When I told about uh, this church-free lifestyle, they told me that I have to die because real women wants to have children. Mm, az első kisbabánál 24 voltam. Ha valaki szeretne nagy családot, meg szeretne sok gyereket, akkor, uh, akkor szerintem Magyarországon jó esélyi vannak arra, hogy ez while Hungary's birth rate remains one of the lowest in Europe, the Prime Minister Viktor Orbán is determined to disrupt this decline, spending 5% of GDP on programs supporting people who choose to have children. A család és a gyermekvállalás valójában áldás, civilizációnk és kultúránk fennmaradása a tét. His government gives the most help to those who have three babies or more. But these efforts come as Hungarians, like the rest of us, are increasingly moving away from traditional family structures. So how are these women reckoning with this push to become parents? As the Hungarian government tells women to focus on marriage and children, I want to see what other messages they're receiving. Wanda is the editor-in-chief of SHE, Hi. one of the country's most popular websites among young women, leading conversation around career, fashion and relationships. So here is the team, my colleagues. I'm here to sit in on an editorial meeting to see what messages modern Hungarians are getting from the media about family life. Wanda, do you want to be a child? That's a child house before. Igen, én vitatkoztam múlt, múltkor valakivel erről, és mondtam, hogy előbb gyűrű házasság, utána a gyerek is mondták, hogy mondok most egy nagyon durva meglepő dolgot, működik a nélkül is. Mondom, én tudom, hogy működik a nélkül is, de hogy, hogy én, én szeretem ezt a sorrendet. Most nem felé a válasz, nem csak egy általános. Ez meg a hangát, ő egy abszolút. Ajaj. Független, fiatal, nő, és mégis ott van benne az, hogy előtt gyűrű, utána gyerek. De ez nem feltétlenül, de ez nem feltétlenül én is. Bizonyos korban már, bizony, bizony. Jó, ez már jó pár téma. Tök jó. Szerintem izgalmas. Jó. Could you show me what's on she right now today? Hogyne, persze. Ez a cikk arról szól, hogy nagyon sokan benne maradnak egy kapcsolatban, akkor is, hogyha az nem tart sehova, és már, már rég nem komfortos, illetve hát ez a nem előre mutató kapcsolat. If you choose loser guys, don't complain afterwards. It's great advice. <laughs> What do you want from me if you have a wife? Ooh. If sex is ugly, don't want to toss it up with a sock mask. <laughs> I'm assuming that's a translation error. No, no. <laughs> There's the title. What's a what's a sock mask exactly? Um, I don't know how to translate it. Uh, <laughs> Noemi, can you take it? Spicing it up with fetish, yeah, yeah, and, and not with sex no, toys, no, but no. with but with emotions. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay, got you. <laughs> a lot of the articles that you have on she are from the female perspective and they're about relationships and becoming a mother and marriage and that kind of thing. How important do you think the concept of family and traditional family is for Hungarian women? Azt gondolom, hogy nagyon megosztanak a vélemények, de a legtöbb magyar nő igenis nagyon romantikus és, és vágynak családra, vágynak gyerekre. De azt is látom, hogy az elmúlt években kitolódott a gyerekvállalás. In a country where people are really encouraged by the government and by the media to have children and get married, how easy do you imagine it would be to be like a 30-year-old woman who didn't want any of that? Biztos nem lehet könnyű, de én azt gondolom, hogy azért, mert államilag támogatják azt, hogy 
hogy akinek sok gyereke van, vagy, vagy sok gyereket szeretne, azok kedvezményeket kapnak. Nem hiszem, hogy ilyen szempontból hátrányhoz juttatja azokat, akik nem. Én 31 éves nőként, aki nagyon szeretné gyereket, de jelenleg még nincs, én nem nyomásként élem meg, de azt hiszem, hogy azokat a nőket kéne megkérdezni ebben a témában, akik ebben élnek. Orban introduced more generous packages for couples with children in 2019, and since then there's been an 8% rise in marriage. Hogy Magyarországon ma egy két gyermeket vállaló fiatal házaspár az életkezdéshez és otthon teremtéshez 22 millió, egy három gyermeket vállaló pedig 35 millió forint támogatást kap. Nekünk nem számok kellenek, hanem magyar gyerekek. But this enhanced focus on traditional family values can leave some people feeling alienated. Virag and her boyfriend Daniel both agree they don't want children. Hey. Hi. I'm Although this decision came easily to them, their choice is making Hungary an increasingly difficult place to live. So how did being child-free come up for you guys when you started dating? I was the beginner. <laughs> you said it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, because it's a really important thing for me. Would you, Daniel, count yourself as child-free by choice as well? I don't want a child ever, so okay. if someone wants to put me in the child-free by choice box, I'm fine with it. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's not something you kind of thought about that much before, like you had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For me, uh, it is a category. Yeah. Um, but for him, not. Do you think that people judge you differently when they hear about you not wanting children, for you as a woman and you as a man? I think yes. People are uh, much more uh, judgmental, mm -hmm. I think, than other, in other countries. Having children and, and uh, building uh, the nation is the most important. Um, and I, I know this is the message. Mm. Yeah. I think it's also important not uh, just what they say, but how they say, like uh, yeah. this Mm, political regime is, is uh, really attacking and aggressive. It's, yes. I think it's a bit uh, makes you feel like a secondary citizen, like you're not important. It sounds like as people who are child free, the messaging you're getting is that your decision is the wrong decision. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's true. Nem akarjuk Magyarországot a férfi gyűlölő nők a gyermekekben, a családokban csak az önmegvalósítás akadályát látó jövőtlenség társadalmává tenni. És szeretnénk, hogyha a lányaink pedig az önmegvalósítás legemorosabb minőségének azt tartanák, hogyha unokákat szülhetnének nekünk. A nőknek nem az a dolguk, hogy ugyanannyi pénzt keressenek, mint a férfiak. Merjünk igent mondani a gyermekre, merjünk jelen lenni, ott, ahol senki más nem helyettesíthet bennünket. I went back to Virag and Daniels to understand how extreme some of the online opposition they face can get. There are judgments really weird, <laughs> I think. Um, some, somebody is telling uh, us that we have to die. Wow. Yes, because uh, women's best goal is having children here in Hungary. I think it's a Hungarian... Uh... <laughs> how did you feel the first time you got somebody saying like I want you to die just because you don't want children. Surprise! Yeah. Because I think it's, it's just a decision. It's the same decision having children or not having children. Mm -hmm. uh, we are just on the other side but, uh, but it, it, it was really surprising that Jesus Christ I'm a bad person or what. But you said it's a Hungarian thing. What do you think it is about Hungary and the society that means people feel so strongly about this issue? There are uh, most uh, populist politicians and uh, maybe that's why Orbán, he always uh, uh, wants to to show the enemy. The and who's people. the enemy? For example, gay people, <laughs> for example, transsexual people, um, the liberal uh, politics uh, and politicians, um, and for example, the child free people. Uh, we are the enemy now. Child free couples like Virag and Daniel fly in the face of what the Hungarian government is hoping to achieve large families with lots of children. 
Thank you. Across town, I'm going to meet a family who could be a poster child for the government's population drive. For generations, Vera's family have been surpassing the three-child benchmark, and she's followed in their footsteps. This is Gellert. Hi, Gellert. Hi, my name is Gellert. Your name is also yeah, Gellert? <laughs> nice to meet you. And she's Zita, she's four. Hi, and nice the baby's to meet you. Sleeping. He, he's eight months. Today, they're all getting together at her parents' house, and I meet her at home before we headed off. Zita, let us like the pig. So you're 31 now? Yes. Okay. Same age as me. Oh. <laughs> and tell me about your extended family. Anyukám még kis hárman vannak, tehát ők, ők is egy ilyen három fős, tehát három gyerek van ott is. Az apukáméknál is hárman voltak, de ott is elvesztettek egy, az egyik testvérüket. Most hárman vagyunk, és a bátyámnak van három gyereke, és a nővéremnek is három gyereke van, úgyhogy mindenki három gyerekes sé vált így az utóbbi időszakra. Do you feel like Hungarians are encouraged to have big families? Ha valaki szeretne nagy családot, meg szeretne sok gyereket, akkor, akkor szerintem Magyarországon jó esély vannak arra, hogy ez, hogy ez megvalósítsa. Ami szerintem a leg, legjobb, vagy a legfontosabb, az az, hogy adókedvezmény van a, a gyerekek után. Illetve hát az iskolába, óvodába az étkezés, vagy ingyenes, vagy olcsóbb, hogyha mondjuk három gyerek van már, vagy... Igazából ez, ami, ami leginkább ránk hat. Vera's siblings and all of their children are gathering to celebrate her mom's birthday. Velünk jönnek, és uh, közétek fog beülni a Lea. Hi! 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 Here are the kids. Hi, kids. Hi. Take a seat. Hi. 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 Like Roman Empire. Today, this liberalism means that they are against family, against marriage, against kids. You, you can find even hotels in Hungary, and there is a sign that this is a kids free hotel. For me, this is a nightmare. Really? Yeah. Some people prefer dogs instead of marriage. Liberals. Yeah. <laughs> once, a, once a month, we are together. And together you are, you are powerful. A, a man needs a woman, and a woman needs a man. Dear father, it's very important, but please, let me warm. My husband likes to speak. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I have to buy two more. Yeah. Did you always know that you were going to have a big family? Was that something that you knew since you were young? When we got married we wanted to have at least four or five kids but wow. <laughs> we started three <laughs> I think it's enough. we have the good example and yeah if, if we would like to increase the population then we have to have at least three <laughs> yeah. it's not, yeah it's just you know. is that something that you are conscious of this need to increase the population yeah i would say we, we have got a lot and we have to give back some some support to to our country as well from our side. How long have you two been married? Just see my my color of my hair. Yeah. And you have the big one. one. Oh, Four, 40. Forty years. Forty years. Yeah. Forty and all. And did you always picture a big family? Oh, I wanted six children. You wanted six. <laughs> you guys are a, a unusual now to have such a kind of big tight family why do you think it's different today értékek összekavarodtak teljesen össze össze uszálódtak évszázadok óta volt egy családmodell erős léket kapott a szexuális forradalommal előtérbe került az embernek tehát a szexualitása a, ez egy erre fókuszáltunk 
mert a szabadságra való vágyást azt nagyon megértünk. Nagyon megértem a szabadságra való vágyát, hogy, hogy vágyunk a szabadságra, mindannyiunk. Tehát te is, én is, mindegyikünk vágyik a szabadságra, és hogy ki hol találj meg, én ezt nem tudom. Whether they want children or not, it's difficult for Hungarians to ignore the country's parenting drive. For some, it's an opportunity to create the families they've always wanted, but it can leave others questioning where they fit. This approach may appear extreme, but the problem is not uniquely Hungarian. As birth rates across Europe continue to decline, there's an increased tension between what governments want and what people choose to do.